dominant performance from the guys today. Your thoughts on getting this well-deserved point on the road? Yeah, it's a, it's a good result. Uh, we came here for three points. You saw that in the first half. We didn't come in here to sit back. We came in here to attack. We came in here to win, win the game. And I think that's what makes it even more pleasing is we didn't come in here to get a draw. Um, and I was really pleased with that first half especially. I thought they were a bit better probably than our second half. Obviously, Jeff came up with a couple big saves. Um, you know, we had a couple little half chances. We, we could have kept the ball a little better. I think a lot of that had to do with fatigue. You know, this is our third game. And we didn't have the luxury of rotating too many guys. So a good number of, uh, of guys played all three games. And you could see that a little bit, I think, in the second half. Um, but, uh, you know, for us to come in on the road, uh, missing a couple guys still. Uh, you're playing a very talented team, a team that's used to scoring goals late. Um, and for us to get the point, I think we'll take it. And you guys managed them very, very well defensively in that second half. What did, what did this result tell you about the guys? You know, they dug deep every single one out there on that field. Yeah, well, again, what I liked most about it is we came and we played aggressive. You know, we pressed them. They had a tough time, you know, I think building out of the back in that first half. And we were on the ball. You know, we were the aggressor in that first half. And um, that, was, that was the goal, to come in here and play on the road like we played home. And, and I thought we did that. So we'll, we'll continue to do that home and away. And I think if we follow that formula uh, and the guys execute like they did, uh, we're going to be a tough team to beat. But, you know, this is another game where we closed it out. Uh, even though we didn't win, uh, we didn't give up the late goal. And, uh, you know, that's real pleasing from a mentality standpoint. If you're in a double leg playoff thing, you, you know, you take the draw in this, in this leg and then you go back to Portland and you're in good shape. So this is the type of result that you got to get sometimes on the road. A good result that you just mentioned you can build off of. How does this help you with the final stretch of the season, six games to go? Well, I think it's good because we're in a good run of form. You know, obviously uh, only a couple losses, I think, in the last 11 and, you know, recent seven games we've only lost one. So I think we're we're starting to hit our stride a little bit. We're closing out games. We're defending better. And we've always been a good attacking team all year. And we've shown that you know, in every game. So I like the balance right now of the team. And I like the mentality of this team uh, right now. So we have a two-week break. We'll use it to our advantage. And then uh, we'll make that final push in the last six games. Caleb, thanks for the time. Thanks, Sam. Tough move about Jeff Altonella's play tonight. Stuffed yeah. Morris twice in that second half. Yeah, disappointing they got him behind us a couple times, but Jordan Morris does that. You know, he's he's quick and he makes really good runs. Um, but uh, again, you know, we need our goalkeeper to make plays, and there have been some games where we haven't gotten that. And, uh, you know, he stepped up big time and, uh, you know, preserved the point for us. If he doesn't make those saves, obviously we, we're disappointed. We're hanging our heads and we're feeling a little, a little different in the match. You weathered a little bit of a storm late, but you were really organized, much, much more so than we've seen earlier in the season. What do you think is the difference? Um, I think chemistry. I think Larry's, you know, has really helped. Um, when you look at our form, I mean, it's been in line with him coming in. Uh, he's, he's a big big boy. He's a man. He, he wins a lot of balls. Um, and then I think it's, it's chemistry. Uh, we've been able to kind of play a little bit more of a, of a similar group. The other thing is I think we've taken some pressure off ourselves defensively by playing more aggressive and keeping the ball better. Our p passing game has been much improved. Um, you know, that's that's the best defense is to be, have a good offense. We didn't really even defend in that first half. They had one chance, and that's because we were attacking. We were on the ball. Um, so I think that's a part of it. But uh, the other part of it is I, th I just think we broke that pattern uh, that we couldn't break where we were giving up goals late. And, now the guys have some confidence late in games that they can close things out. Um, the first goal, maybe not a goal you guys we want to get back, um, but you respond to that by not giving up another goal, finding the equalizer. Does that just speak to the mentality of the group right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you, you felt like when the ball bounced around three, four times and went in, it's like, really? You know, you, all you can think is cruel because we were – the first 17 minutes, we were, we were the only team playing. You know, we were aggressive, and I loved the start of the game. And um, but I, I, f I had a good feeling because you know my team was playing after the goal really well, and so I kept thinking, you know, I'm not worried because we kept getting chances and we kept threatening, and uh, I knew the goal would come. But uh, again, I, I love this team's mentality right now, and that was the one thing missing: a little bit of defending, a little bit of mentality in closing out games, and. Uh, 
you know, we've been able to kind of correct some of those things better on set pieces. Even though we gave up the goal, I, you know, I think it's a bit of a fluke. Some of the other late, you know, balls served in where we had our zonal line. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best set piece team we'll play. You know, I mean, they got some big boys and, you know, matchup wise, we were worried about that going into the game. But I thought our guys really sh showed a lot of bravery in those moments. Late in the game, you saw Blanco defending and Nagby defending and Vitas has shown uh, a lot of improvement standing guys up late and not getting beat 1v1. And, you know, again, every ball that went in the box, Larry Zeroy, they're in there to make a play versus a few games where it just seemed like, you know, the attacking team was always going to get an easy goal late in games. It seemed like Portland had a lot of success on the right side. Was that pre-planned or was it just part of the game today? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we defensively, we wanted to funnel, um, you know, their team out their left side because we felt their right side was a little stronger, you know, with the... Uh, Torres starting attacks as a right-footed player, and you know Lear Dam for me is a very good right back getting forward, and so we try to funnel them out their left side a bit. So I thought we had a little a little success with that, and and then in the attack, you know we knew with the spree and his his pace and power uh, that we could create a one v one, and I thought we we did a pretty good job of exploiting that. A bit better in the final third. I think there are a few times where you know we could have crossed it you know a little bit better and gotten a better run, but. Uh, I thought the guys really performed and executed well. Maddox had a good game. You know, you can see why I keep going back to him because when he's on and he's he's running and he's you know working, he's a threat. You know, I don't think Torres and Marshall like playing against him. You know, and you know when he's on his game, that's what he that's what he brings. He set up set up the first goal, a couple others that could have been goals, and it played a really good role for us. I also thought Darlington in the center of the park uh, was the man. You know, I mean, he got on the ball and defended well too. You know, he, funny enough, people don't rate his maybe defending as much as his attacking, but go back and watch the tape. He, he defended a lot of uh, little duels and, you know, won a lot of balls in the center of the park for us. About Maddox, were, there were a lot of sort of interior runs early, and he was not being yeah. found a bunch. It seemed like uh, as the game went along and as the first half went along, you sort of simplified that and, and just sort of looking to get him in behind. Yeah. You think that was a key to, to sort of unlocking him a bit? Yeah, that's what we wanted to do with him from the start of the game is just really keep him in between Torres and Marshall and, and keep him out of the buildup. You know, we don't want him checking a ton. Uh, we felt like with Blanco and Valeri, we knew with Nagby, if we pulled him deep, they'd have to release either Roldan and Alonso, which would create an overload with Blanco and Valeri. And I think we found that overload quite a bit. And we wanted Maddox just to really be ready to run the channel, you know, and run behind. And uh, the goal is a great example of what we wanted him to do. But I, I agree with you. Early in the game, I thought, you know, until he got a little bit of a rhythm, um, Maybe that has something to do with the way their back line was playing. Um, but I thought as the game went on, he started to find more and more space. And there were a couple where Marshall actually made a last-ditch slide tackle where if he, if, he, if he doesn't get that, he's in on a 1v1. This is the first result you guys have gotten in, uh, in Seattle in a couple of years. Uh, does it feel good to, to break that streak? Yeah, 2013, I think, was you know so my first year. I remember, it was, I think it was the second or third game of the year we came up here. And Rodney Wallace scored a kind of lead header. And I remember thinking at the time, that's a, that's a big kind of marker, you know, and put a marker down a little bit and, and to be able to come from behind and, you know, uh, you know, we built on that. So I think this is another game where we'll build on. But I'll tell you what, that locker room over there, they're not satisfied with the point. You know, they wanted three. We came here for three. Um, you know, so I think uh, they'll stay a bit grounded because uh, I think they know if they played the second half like the first, we'd probably win the game. That was James.